Uh, well, Puppet Gain and Skip wouldn't do Yellow Fairy. Like, Puppet Gain and Skip would just do Puppet Gain and Skip and then enter the floating zone, ideally. Ugh. Stretch out more. I mean, if he did Puppet Cannon Skip um, with Bombs and Leaf on, like, a perfect run, you could probably get, like, a 59-minute run. Thank you. 
unfortunate that I lost time to getting stuck in that animation, but still okay. So, like, there's this kind of specific speed where if Link hits it while in a certain part of his charging animation, um, it'll begin to, like, only turn around once every two frames, which means that you're not gaining speed at all. And that's, that's what unfortunately happened right there. If that didn't happen, I probably would have been ahead right here. I feel like I am beginning to finally get, like, better at the manual swim, which is good. Is not the microphone audio. <laughs> Alright, well, as it turns out, uh, there's a new RA in the dorm, so that they just introduced themselves to me. Thankfully, it was during a cutscene and not like, during the manual super swim. That would have been awkward. So thank you very much, The Real Riddles, with the Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you very much for the support, and I hope you enjoy your Morth family of emotes. And the chat badge as well. Today, the runs have been all right. Uh, there was a run I had, well, the last run that made it really far. Um, I was 30 seconds behind going into the Ganondorf fight, but I'd lost two minutes on my leaf segment in that run. Uh, of course, then I died to Ganondorf, so it didn't really matter. But <laughs> Hopefully PB soon. If I can keep getting Wind Waker times like this, uh, we should PBing honestly shouldn't be too difficult. Oh my goodness. But if I keep bonking there, that's not going to happen. We could potentially get the record, but that requires, um, like, I need to perform really well on my Bombs and Deku Leaf segments, or on all segments, really, but those two are, like, the key segments where I can save a lot of time early on. 
Because I can't save any time really on Bottle or Gravel Hook, except maybe like two or three seconds. Although I'm going to lose time on Gravel Hook right now because of the failed rock skip and because of the two bonks that I had. So thank you for the good looking Nenry kiddo. Ah yes, the splits I'm comparing against are my PV. If I save all the possible time, like, if I get best segments on Bombs and Daegu Leaf, I'll save, like, a minute and 35 seconds. I can save around 30 seconds, and then on Deku Leaf I can save around a minute and five seconds. No, best possible time is a calculation that Live Split makes. Basically, from here until the end of the run, it takes all of my best segments, and if, assuming that I hit all of my best segments, uh, that's the time that I would get at the end. But, like, because I split for Wind Waker, or for physical therapy, uh, and the bottle, um, those best segments aren't included, and it takes whatever time that I had at bottle, and then calculates my best segments from there on. extremely impressed and confused at the same time. And probably really nervous. Probably at least three more minutes for that to happen. Or for that to be like feasible. Oh! 
doesn't check to actually see if you have the Gossip Stone or not. All the Gossip Stone triggers are always active. Some of the rupee drops are random. Uh, most of the green ones are. The blue ones aren't, though. Those are consistent. Although, some of the green ones are consistent. Like the first pot at the beginning, and then the rock in the room before we go outside. But there's lots of opportunities to get random green rupees. You have, like, ten chances to get five random green rupees. And then if you don't get that, there's always, like, just a backup blue rupee you can get that only wastes a few seconds on windfall. direction. Yeah. 
The runs today are okay. I've had some good segments. Unfortunately, no PBs, though. Currently, Linkus has the record at an hour, three minutes, and 57 seconds. The record is usually displayed in the lower right. Or you can see what it is with the exclamation point WR command in chat. If I don't get the sale, I have, uh, unfortunately, we then end up soft locking later. There is a way to get around that soft lock, but it's slower than just buying the sale. Nah, I have no idea, no tools. I mean, that's what I'm trying for, but any sort of PV would be good right now. sucks now. I don't know why I clipped through there. <laughs> nice. Let's just go right in front of the door. I'm still gonna save time here, but I lost like 20 seconds because of that. I do not have an Instagram. Or a Snapchat. <laughs> so 
we still should save a few seconds, but that clip through the rock was unfortunate. Yep. So now we might not save any time. <laughs> Again. Okay, we're still saving a few seconds, but we're still behind. So that was not a very good segment. Most of it was good, but clipping through the rock is what really cost us all that time that we didn't save. Can <laughs> it just be me doing hand stretches? That would be good. Or doing any stretches. Like, yes, time for my daily middle split snaps picture. far north. So thank you for the good luck snowboard pro. You don't have to necessarily stretch every day, but stretching every day will help if you want to maintain doing the splits. I can't do the splits right now because I haven't stretched in a while. But if I started stretching again, I could probably be able to do them after like two weeks or so. Like you can actually get flexible probably a lot quicker than you would imagine. <laughs> if you did it like every day. Let's not screw up this now, because this is what I screwed up last time. Yay, we didn't screw this up. I mean, it is generally a little more difficult to get flexible as you get older. Like when you're really young, it's pretty easy to get flexible because you're like, or because your body's like still growing and developing. The task of this game would skip the bombs, as well as the sail and the tinker bottle.
Well, the reason that uh, skipping the sale now soft locks is because the bombs, um, the bombs basically activate this um, requirement that Coral has to say some text. Because after you get the bombs, King of Red Lines is literally like, hey, we gotta go, you know, go to Outset. Bomb down the wall to get Nehru's Pearls, let's go there. So, like, the game's like, okay, he has to say that. But if you don't get the sale, the game's like, oh, well, he still has the sale text um, that he needs to say. The problem is that if you activate, um, like, the sequence where he's like, okay, he has to say the bomb text, but you haven't gotten the sale yet, um, Korra will just infinitely loop the sale text over and over and cause you to soft lock. He'll be like, hey, did you get the sale? Hey, did you get the sale? Hey, did you get the sale? And that just goes on forever. But that's why skipping bombs would, in turn, allow skipping uh, the sale in the tingle bottle. Because the only reason we get the tingle bottle is to get the sale. Since that's a requirement they made in HD. Oh, that was a perfect item slide, nice. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, storage is used to skip some cutscenes. In the original game. Not in this game, because we can't get storage in pretty much anywhere. We can't get storage pretty much anywhere. Currently in this game, the only places that we can get storage are in a few boss rooms. Alright. We actually have a decent run going for once. How about that? So thank you for the good luck, Adam Jaily. segment because my best segment was better than that. I like a second. my favorite Morth? Uh, that has to be Joe. Because Joe spreads happiness and love. Super super nice. okay, losing five seconds isn't that big of a deal. My movement just got kind of screwed up. I'm just 
just made Steve cry. Well, sorry, Steve. Uh, the record has been 103.57 for like about two weeks right now. In any case, we should hopefully be able to at least PB with this run, if anything. I mean, obviously, it's nice to get the record. And it is completely possible with this run currently, because I can save about 40 seconds on um, a Ganon if I play it, like, perfectly. And I can also save 30 seconds with a really good fourth hover, so. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. This run also lost 30 seconds on bombs, so it's not... Uh, it's not like some amazing pace or anything right now. Uh, my sum of best is 101.08. Last I saw Linkus as some of the best, it was a 101.13. Not sure what it is right now. Uh, Moobot's just the name of the bot. I don't get to decide the name of the bot. Someone else made Moobot, and Moobot can like join any channel, and you can have Moobot do whatever you want. Or like you can uh, make Moobot like respond differently to certain commands and stuff. This is the text that would softlock uh, if we didn't have the sale. But because we do have the sale, thankfully, it plays through successfully. Space. It's about halfway done, but it's like 7,000 words so far, so it might take a while. I wasn't expecting it to be that long, but that's just what it is. But explaining everything is like... It takes a lot of words to explain things. So that's why it's still not submitted yet. Uh, 
And I'm trying to like keep the explanation somewhat basic, but it's, it's still taking up a lot of words to do. Also, hey, Jacobs, thank you for the good luck. I don't know how much of this run is cutscenes. I think it's more than half, or maybe about half or something. Like, the, the Forsaken Fortress, or no, the Helmrock uh, King and Barrier Skip segments are very heavily cutscenes. Like, Barrier Skip, if done optimally, even though it's a five minute segment, you'll only have control of Link for like less than a minute. Uh, Zelda Speedruns isn't accepting new runs right now while stuff is happening. Like, Zelda Speedruns is still trying to reorganize itself from, uh... Like, things are changing on the site, so for the time being, they're not going to accept runs. Ah, uh, yes, Pubert was a real cat. Because the ZSR leaderboards want to be able to sync themselves up with the speedrun.com leaderboards. And I believe they're gonna hold off on accepting runs until that happens, because they want the leaderboards to be like synchronized with each other. So for now, like any runs that you have, you can submit to speedrun.com. Thank you for the good good luck, American choir boy. Yeah, thankfully Nintendo allows us to skip cutscenes in newer games. Kinda sucks that we can't skip them in this game. Otherwise the run would probably be like 40 minutes long or something. seconds back. Nice. Oh, yeah. Gonzo's invisible because uh, there's a certain story point that you have to hit which like allows Gonzo's actor to be in cutscenes. But because we skipped that story point, uh, Gonzo just never appears. Same thing happens with the King of Red Lions early on, which is why we don't see him in the Dragon Roost Island cutscene, or in the Forest Game cutscene. Well, Gonzo's, like, story point that needs to be activated is just unique to Gonzo for some reason. Let's just believe that Errol can actually fly and that she was arrested and thrown into jail for being a witch. I think that makes more sense.
sound effect always struck me as strange. It sounds like an audience gasping, but... Uh, it's just really strange when, like, Baloo burns the broken ship. What if you could skip cutscenes all along and nobody knew? Well, then we'd have some new time saved to get world records in every single category, which would be interesting. Uh, the only cutscene you can skip with plus is the intro cutscene. Like, if I press plus right now, nothing's gonna happen. I just get the rejected sound. <laughs> I uh, know, Minus puts the game into gamepad mode. Which sometimes accidentally happens, like, I'll accidentally press the Minus button and it'll be like, you're playing in gamepad only mode. And then everyone's like, SPLICE! Press the home button, alright, we'll just do that. Uh, well, gamepad mode is actually faster in a few specific scenarios. Like, when you're warping around you in gamepad mode, you can use the gamepad to, like, select where you want to warp around instead of moving around with the cursor. Alright, time for this clip. Unfortunately, that took a while to line up. Ah, rip. I was trying to do ESS position. That kind of sucks. I was hoping to save time here. Instead, I lost 25 seconds. If I get good Phantom Ganon RNG, though, I can save back a little bit. Oh, now we lost more time. 
I haven't had good RNG there in like a few days. See if we can finish it off with a good pub again and then more cover. Of course now I have a segment for once. My PB was really bad at Deku Leaf. It was only like a second off of my best. I know that I can beat it by 20 more seconds with a cutscene skip. <laughs> well, item sliding was found by accident with a third party, like, homebrew controller. <laughs> or, like, a program that allowed you to use GameCube controllers on Wii U. Like, it was found because of faulty homebrew software. <laughs> that, like, didn't put the dead zone on correctly or something. I mean, thankfully that happened, otherwise this game would still be really boring to speed run. I mean, I don't know, maybe we would have found it item sliding just a little bit later. Who knows? Uh, currently I am not working on any tasks, no. I'm working on speedrunning Wind Waker HD and Majora's Mask 3D. Speaking of which, let's snipe Puppet Ganon. predicting where he was going to move right there. Is there magic? I don't think there was. Oh, yeah, the pot's still up there. Well, who knows? Maybe we can get Crip Shot and it'll actually save some time back. Unfortunate. At least we got enough magic. Though. So at best now we'll probably only save like a few seconds. Could have, you know, 
finish the fight. Where are you? If we have a good Morth Hover, um, we could potentially get a new record, but... Oh, Alright. Kinda wish I'd saved more time, but the first phase wasn't good enough to warrant that. <laughs> so now it's all dependent on the Morths. And, like, me to do the Hover, but... Mostly on the Morths, just to... Get thrown off in the right direction. At the very least, I hope that we can at least get, like, a PB. Screwed that up. <laughs> Got too close. Not high enough. That's still not high enough. good, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, oh well. Let's at least get a PB, shall we? We did like lose forty seconds there. <laughs> Ooh, could we get a one oh four twenty? That would be a good meme time. It means I can't go for the hearts though. But I mean this run's not that special anymore, so
Yeah, I don't, I mean... Yeah, I'll try for the 104.20. It could mean that, we're, that we might die, though. But let's go for it anyway, I think. It'd be fun. Uh, the way that we climb the rope really fast at the bottom of the puppet cannon room, uh, that only works because of how long the rope is. Uh, if the rope... Like, if we tried to do it higher than where we stopped, we would just fall off the rope. Well, I don't want to play exactly like my PB, because if I did that, then I'd get a 104.19. I want to lose, like, one second, right? Well, yeah, you have to do it slower, but at, at that point, it doesn't save any time. <laughs> This also might kind of depend on where Zelda jumps. If she jumps back, then we might die. <laughs> if she jumps forward, though, we should be okay. Alright, let's pray for the 10420. Will we get to the 10420? Let's find out right now. Things are going good so far. That's not good. Yes, we did it! 10420, ladies and gentlemen. A great meme to end the stream off today. I'm, I'm way too excited about the fact that I got a 10420. <laughs> So thank you very much, uh, Motoracen, for the subscription. Thank you very much for the support, and I hope you enjoy the badge and emotes. But yeah, we did it. We got the 10420. Which means that now I never have to get a new PB in this game, because this time is too good. So thank you for the four rupees, David. And for the 20 rupees also. Obviously, you no, know, this isn't the end. I'm gonna try to improve this. <laughs> oh, 
Also, yeah, we tied the Odyssey world record. Well, the the single player record, I think. I think there's like a different record for two player or something. So yeah. Also, thank you very much for the 420 bits, Austin. Very generous of you. I'm going to take a picture of these splits and put them on Twitter now. We have tweeted out the meme PB. One oh four twenty point six nine. Yeah, that would have been good if I got the point six nine. Unfortunately, that didn't happen though. Unfortunately, we can't have everything. But uh, so this run, uh, bottle split was terrible. <laughs> I can easily save time on bottle split um, when I compare against this run. Uh, grapple hook was really good, um, almost a best segment. Bombs was really bad. I lost like 30 seconds on bombs, so that's a point of improvement. Uh, Dick Leaf was good. Uh, even though I lost five seconds at Forsaken Fortress, it was still fine. Uh, Helmarok King was okay. Barrier Skip wasn't very good. I lost like 25 seconds there. Light Arrows was not very good. I got the worst RNG. Uh, Puppet Ganon wasn't very good either. <laughs> I lost like, mm, like 30 seconds there. I lost 40 seconds on Morth Hover, and then the Ganondorf split was fine. So, uh, yeah. And also the manual super swim can be like 30 seconds better if I was just better at the swim. But I do feel like I'm getting better um, at the manual super swim. So hopefully I can consistently get, you know, like times like this and then we can finally push the time that this game has. Because I feel like if I was better at the manual super swim, I'd probably want to push for like a 102, like a high 102 or something. But my super swimming, my manual super swimming just isn't there yet. Hopefully over time though it'll happen. Speaking of high... <laughs> what will happen when someone gets a low 102? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I kind of doubt that this run will ever get to the point of needing to incorporate Puppet Ganon Skip just to save time. Like, nobody's that consistent at this game right now.
yeah, um, unfortunately this is probably gonna be the last run of the day. Um, I have to study for an exam tomorrow, as well as do some homework, and I'd like to have dinner. <laughs> uh, if I do stream tomorrow, though, it will be, um, MM3D runs, because I take a break every, every other day from speedrunning this game. There's a really hard technique you can do to skip Puppet Ganon that requires, like, really good mashing. And thank you for the good luck, Awa. I hope it'll go good. It's at, like, 10.30 in the morning, though, so I have to, like, actually wake up at a, a decent time. all the credit bubbles of enemies that we never met and people that we never saw. There's like one project that I have due um, on Wednesday. I'm hoping that I can finish that today, hopefully. And then after tomorrow, I'll be able to like stream for the rest of the week uh, because my spring break is the week after next week or the week after this upcoming week. It's also the week that GDQ submissions open. Also, Gonzo is still missing, if anyone's interested. He's supposed to be at the wheel of the pirate ship, but he's not there. The pirate ship currently has no driver. Or whatever the... I forget what the technical term is for whoever is at the steering wheel. The helmsman? No. I don't know. Oh, it is a helmsman, okay. I guess that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys all for watching today. Um, hope you guys had fun watching us get this meme PB. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a 103 soon. I'm currently 19 years old. I'm gonna be 20 in about two months, though. Yeah, so I'm off for today. <laughs> so, once again, thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you all for the bits and the subscriptions. And, uh... Yeah, I don't really have anything else, so see you guys later, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I hope you have the energy to make it through the next week. <laughs> <laughs>